<clears throat> so I'm more or less done uh, wiring rough in here. Um, just do a quick walkthrough, I guess. Uh, so my running lights and my brake lights and um, uh, left and right turn signals are grounded in on either side here, just to the frame. If you can see that down there. <clears throat> on either side both grounded into the frame here and that basically runs up to the left and right turn signals and goes up top to the running lights uh, and then they are running through the wall now up to the front <coughs> and then I have my brake connector wire here that runs from the truck harness and it runs from the front right down here through the floor and then it runs to the to the uh, brakes the, the wheel brakes <coughs> it's not working right now so hopefully it's just like a problem with the wiring by the wheels or something I don't know I'll have to figure that out but then I had to extend the wires here and then everything tucks down to the front right here so that's it for the brake wiring and I've tested all the lights out and they seem to work okay everything except for yeah like the the lighting works but the brakes don't work yet and then as far as the DC system goes, here are all the DC wires and they run down because this will be where my batteries are in this corner here and I'll have my uh, AC inverter there as well. Um, <clears throat> so the DC basically just will power the lights and I'm going to have a few DC sockets like down here I'm going to have a DC socket. Uh, for my computer desk and TV area, I, what I'm planning is, is having my uh, my bed right here over top of the batteries and extending this way. And then I'm going to have a desk with a pony wall and uh, TV between the desk and the um, bed that will swivel back and forth so I can watch TV in my bed and then swivel it and watch TV in the living room computer area here. So I have, um, yeah, so I have a light right above that and then I have a light here and two up above where the kitchen will be on the back wall. Um, planning on having a DC socket right here and then a couple DC lights one right there and then two right here oh yeah another DC plug right here and then a light here and here which tie into this switch right here so when you come in the door you can just flick on the lights <coughs> without having to try to find them and then I'll have another entryway light right here and one above the bed right here as well and then a DC plug here as well and then for the AC so that the the DC wiring is on three circuits I believe and they're kind of all over the place but more or less it's just like that half of the room and then the the kitchen area and this wall is on one and then kind of the back area is on another I think uh, and then for the DC I just have two circuits or for the AC I just have uh, two circuits so one running up right here which goes to this AC plug above the bed and then up here runs over and basically powers this section the, the passenger side wall and the kitchen area so there's one plug that drops down right here 
one behind the stove because I didn't really want to move this because there was like a bunch of wires going in there. It's going to be a pain in the ass to move, so I just uh, left it there. And I'll have another AC plug above the countertop right here. <clears throat> and then one going down into the trunk. So I'll probably have like a fridge sitting right there so I can plug my fridge into that AC outlet and maybe you know a heater in the winter or something if I need to keep my plumbing from freezing. And then so that's all on one circuit and then the other circuit there's going to be a plug right down there and another plug here for my computers and one shooting out into the pony wall right here for my um, TV and sound system and also on this same circuit this wire runs up into the wall here and then into the ceiling and connects up into the AC unit <coughs> so once I get enough battery power or if I'm plugged into like a you know plugged into the grid then I'll be able to power my AC on that circuit so that's pretty much it for the wiring